Hello friends, this is a case of laparoscopic hysterectomy and here we are performing surgery with the striker 1788 camera. This camera has a lot of advancement and it is OLD screen 4K as well as you have the a lot of new features. So I will explain later those features. This is the round ligament is taken on the right side followed by fallopian tube. As you might be seeing that we apply a lot of betadine in between the jaw of the ligature. Advantage is there will not be overcooking and it will never stick with any of the tissue. And we are regularly after cleaning the jaw of the ligature with the hydrogen peroxide, we put a lot of betadine in between the jaw that will make your more secure hemostasis and even the uterine artery can be easily coagulated. So this is round ligament, fallopian tube, ovarian ligament is taken and here we have injected ICG and you can see this is CSF mode. This is a beautiful mode of 1788 where green will be shown that ICG is taken more and you can see the blue will take that if the less ICG is taken and you can have different type of contrast mode and you have ENV mode also. In this ENV mode you can see that uh, the green color is very much highlighted and it will not give the over shading on the other color. So this 1718 camera 1788 has a lot of advancement in this uh, you know fluorescent uh, angiography and in cases of even college hysterectomy and hysterectomy. This is overlay mode. In the overlay mode on the color you will have together with the green and you can increase the contrast of this color of the green which we have put in the ureter ICG 5 5 ml ICG is put in the each ureter as you know 10 val of aurocin is auro green is coming that we can dilute with the 10 ml uh, saline and we can put 5 ml in each ureter bladder also will be nicely stained and you will have better color resolution compared to 1688 or uh, 1588 camera. <clears throat> you know a striker has the ICG mode in 1588 as well as 1688 but 1788 has the another mode that is CSF mode also and that give you much better surgery. Right now we are on the ENV mode of the camera. 1788 has yet not launched in India. It will launch in September. But because I am in the advisory board of the you know striker, so they have given me to test this camera and to know the capability of this camera. So this is the left sided of round ligament fallopian tube and over ligament ovarian ligament is taken and then 2.5 centimeter over the broad ligament. Right now we are working with the ENV mode of the camera where you have the bladder, ureter both visible. And now these uh, modes has been changed to normal mode. Now we are opening the anterior leaf of the broad ligament and uterus is at 5 o'clock position and lateralizing the ureter and as well as opening the anterior leaf of the broad ligament as well as peritoneum over the UV fold. So this recording is in you know 1080, we are not using 4K recorder. Another big advancement of the 1788 camera that your insufflator and your other equipment also will be connected with the hub and it is voice command. If you will tell that OK striker increase the intensity of the spy mode, just it will take your voice command and accordingly it will change the color mode. So this is now anterior leaf of the broad ligament which is taken and now the bladder will be separated. So assistant is pushing the uterine manipulator retroverted and this is the bladder which we are pushing down. We can see here this is pearly white colored with the criss cross pattern of the vessel which is very characteristic of the vagina and now this bladder is getting separated. And the bladder pillar also should be lateralized. This is important if you are performing laparoscopic hysterectomy so that if the bladder pillar muscles will be lateralized, ureter will also go lateral and then the uterine artery can be easily coagulated because it will get skeletonized. So this is 
finished now we will open the posterior peritoneum for that purpose also the left hand has a great role because this left hand will lateralize and it will create the pocket so that you can separate it take care that your tip of the harmonic should not touch uh, you know any of the vessel otherwise vein will bleed an assistant will keep it initially at 1 o'clock position and now it will it, he is keeping at 12 o'clock position and just above the arc of uterocycle ligament you can open the posterior peritoneum and pushing the peritoneum down again we can see this is env mode and again the ureter is visible on the left side what you are seeing is the foley's catheter because some of the dye will come in the bladder and it will give you the bladder also will stain so indocyanin green is very helpful to prevent the injury of ureter and you can use infrared ureteric uh, catheter like u kit striker u kit also illuminated ureteric catheter also can be used but ICG has its own advantage because sometime in some of the cases where ureteric catheter cannot be you see again this is ENB mode and ureter is nicely visible and you can increase or decrease the intensity of this ENB mode. So now the posterior peritoneum is separated and now almost surgery is finished now what remaining is the uterine artery. So this is the uterine artery of the left side and as we can see with the ligature we are coagulating and as I told you before that we have a lot of betadine in between the jaw of ligature that will give you that it will not increase the temperature more than 100 degree centigrade and there will never be overcooking. So we can see that left side of uterine artery is taken already belching has started, blenching has started and we can see white color of the left side of the uterus and after that we will take the right uterine artery and assistant will do the contralateral traction this uterus will be at 9 o'clock position and this is the right uterine artery taken see again this is the mode here you can see that below is this is the ureter do you know what we do in the surgery wrong that sometime we go more lateral and we this is the ureter here and more lateral and we can catch the ureter this way so always try to remain near the uterus especially when you are taking uterine artery and this is right side of uterine artery is secured and your uh, you know <coughs> ICG will help you that you will know that you are not catching the ureter. So Macan rot and uterine of the right side is also coagulated and it is cut and after that just what you need is colpotomy. <coughs> so for colpotomy our favorite instrument is harmonic and we are using the vibrating jaw of harmonic and we start above the arc of uterocycle ligament so cervical part of uterocycle ligament will be only cut vaginal part will not be cut again this is E and V mode and you can see both the side of ureter is nicely visible. In the 1688 camera in the E and V mode sometime the surrounding bowel or rectum or other structure also was getting false green but that does not happen in the 1788 camera. Another advantage of this camera is that it has OLED uh, this um, monitor so it has a better contrast and better black. Another advantage to see the vessels of the uh, you know bladder it has one CSI mode so in that mode the vessels of the vein of the bladder will be nicely visible and that you can use for you know finding out neovascularization and the other things. So we can see colpotomizer started visible and here posterior colpotomy is done. After that assistant will keep on encircling and he will keep on moving the uterus in coordination with the vibrating jaw of harmonic. At that time you should not bring the teflon jaw nearer to vibrating jaw otherwise it will cut and your harmonic will get destroyed the probe will the cut the teflon jaw and then you may have to change it. So now it is cutting the anterior leaf of the colpotomy and this is the anterior vagina and just this colpotomizer should be cranially pushed by your assistant and with tip of the open jaw of harmonic easily you can do colpotomy. 
and now this is the right side and again it is final colpotomy is getting completed. So, this is now almost over and anterior vagina just little bit is attached and it is over take care that over shooting of the instrument should not happen and over a stretch also should not be done by assistant. After that uterus will be removed and then we will do the you know the tube both the side of the tube you will remove for that you should hold the tube in the middle and anteromedial traction should be given. Anteromedial traction has advantage that you will only take the ovarian ligament and major sharpings and it will not do the devascularization of ovary. So, this is just removing the tube and we will leave the ovary. A stone holding forcep is introduced that is also called a spoon forcep that is introduced through the vagina and the assistant will catch it the tube. So, this is left tube is done and now this is the right tube and again anteromedial traction will be given and you will catch it with the IO ligament and just within one or two catch you can take the tube. Take care that you should not go very near to the ovary or very near to the IP ligament to prevent the devascularization of the ovary. You may better use harmonic for this process because it has minimum collateral damage. Now this both the tube is taken out and now the suture is pushed through the vagina and now this is the closure. We do double layer closure in the first layer we do not take the lock and we do it loose without locking. So, this is only three port surgery most of the hysterectomy we do by only three port where one port is supra umbilical and two is ipsilateral 18 centimeter away from the target and here our target is uterine artery. So, you have to measure it 18 centimeter from the UV fold. So, there are three bite only required in the first row this is posterior vagina and as you know that you should must include the vaginal epithelium to prevent the granulation tissue. So, this is the posterior vagina and here it is anterior vagina and now you will reach to the other side this is the epithelium vaginal epithelium should must be included and you should keep on giving cranial traction when you are rotating your needle better to use the Maryland here we are using grasper in the left hand but grasper is not so good so we can change it to a Maryland then it will be much better you can hold it better if you have a four port assistant can hold the UV fold and he can give the anterior traction but if you are doing by three port you have to do yourself. Now once you come to the another end then it is better to lock it and for locking just you go through the loop and you will pull the suture mm -hmm. out and it will interlock. Locking has advantage that now you can tighten the first row and then you can return it back to the right. So, we have started from the right and now we have reached to the left and on the left corner we have locked the suture. After locking it you can hold it by left hand and with the right hand you can catch the tail and you can slide the first layer and now you can start returning back. During returning back your left hand uh, Maryland will act as a cranial traction and that will facilitate your EG bite taking together anterior and posterior vagina can be taken and take care that cranial traction should must be given during rotation of the needle so that bladder accidentally should not be pricked and left hand also should keep the bladder away. So, this is returning back and during returning back in the second layer every time it is better to lock for that simply you go with the loop and put the suture together with the needle with the loop and it will get locked and after that again you hold the suture and this suture will act as a retraction cranial traction and now we will take the final bite. So, this way total 6 bite is required in the first row we have unlocked 3 bite continuously and during returning every time locked 3 bite with the lock with the continuously also. So, again bladder is pushed down and this is the final bite is taken on the right side. And then again you will go with the loop and you can lock it there. 
So, this way with the 6 bytes your vaginal vault will be nicely tightened and uterus cycle also will get approximated. After that you will terminate with the same tail and here we will use surgeon's knot that is 211 first time double wrap followed by two opposite alternating wrap and you can make a C and then go you rotate it and then you will take the double wrap and catch the tail and slide the suture towards the tip of the Maryland. Sometime your tail may be very big here keeping tail big is necessary so that accidentally tail should not be pulled during tying a continuous suturing. If tail is very big you may take a bite with the tail and catch the suture near the needle and then you may pull the needle out. So that is possible otherwise better to take the needle and cut the needle near the suture and then you can take the needle end also to make a C and reverse C. So, this way suturing of the vault is very easy and just by continuous suturing and only one knot surgeon's knot is required at the end. So, this is done and now this is again here I will show you how we use tail to take a bite and then catch near the needle not the needle just suture near the needle and you can slide the needle as well and this is the final knot. After that you can catch both the suture and pull it vagina anteriorly and then you can do little suction irrigation to find out if there is any bleeding or anything and any blood which is collected in the culti sac you may suck it out. So, this is suction hardly 5 ml blood loss is there and you can check and then little irrigation suction can be given at that time the suture will help you as a retractor and you can nicely clean the any bleeding or any clot you can suck it out from the culti sac. And after that just we will cut the suture and needle will be taken out through the 5 mm port. So, you can perform this surgery with the all 3 5 mm you know the striker has very good vision even if you use 5 mm telescope and now this suture is taken out. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.